Good day! Our lesson for today is all about representations of rational functions. In this video, students will be able to define rational functions. Number two, represent rational functions using table of values, graph, and equations. So first, what is rational function? A rational function is written in the form of f of x is equal to p of x over q of x. It should be follow the following conditions. Namely, first one is both p of x and the q of x are polynomial functions where it has no negative and fractional exponent. Uh, we can say na mas na rational function siya, basta yung numerator natin and the denominator is always a polynomials. And it has no negative and fraction exponent. And number two, the denominator or the q of x should not be equal to zero. Kapag nag-zero kasi yung denominator natin, it will become undefined. So, hindi natin ma-identify what is the exact value kasi ang denominator is 0. And then, the domain of all values of x where q of x is not equal to 0. Pag ang domain naman dito, lahat ng possible value ng x, basta wag lang yung value ng x na ang ating denominator ay magiging 0. So, let us recall in identifying whether the given is a rational function or not. Recall lang to. So, first, f of x is equal to 5x over x minus 1. This is an example of rational function because the, the numerator and the denominator have a polynomial. And at the same time, they have a f of x. Another one is f of x is equal to square root of 5x over x minus 1. Ito naman, ito ay not rational function. Bakit daw? Because they have a radical sign. Kapag meron siyang radical sign, kahit sa numerator man yan or sa denominator, automatic it is not a rational function. Another one is f of x is equal to x plus 5 over x minus 3. This is rational function. And lastly, f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 over 2x raised to negative 2 minus 3. This is an example of not rational function. Bakit? Kasi meron siyang negative exponent. Diba sabi natin kanina, bawal magkaroon ng negative exponent. At the same time, bawal din magkaroon ng fraction exponent sa rational functions. Kaya hindi siya rational functions. Let us have an example. The given scenario is, in order to join a voice lesson class, you pay a 500 pesos fee, then 100 pesos for each class. You go to. What is the average cost per class? And graph the function to show whether it's form of a straight line or a curve. Ang unang gagawin po dito is we need to identify first what is the equation. So, simulan natin. Sabi daw, let f of x represent the average cost per class. Kasi ba sabi natin sa function, they're always using f of x. Note that 500 pesos is a fixed price that you need to pay plus the 100 pesos per each class divided by to the number of class. So, in, maliban dun sa unang binayad mo na 500 pesos, it is a fixed price. And then, sa kada punta mo ng, ng klase, you need to pay a 100 pesos. And we need to identify magkano yung average cost per class. So, again, this is our function. F of X is equal to 500. Sabi daw, 500. 500 pesos, this is a fixed price. Then, plus... 100 pesos na kada pupunta tayo sa klase, which is x is for the number of number of class. Then divide by x. 
after you identify the equation, we need to construct the table of values showing the average cost. Remember, our function is f of x is equal to 500 plus 100 times the number per class over the number of per class. So let us try this. Sa pagbibigay ng value ng x, pwedeng kayo bahala. Uh, kayo ang magbigay kung ano yung pwedeng value ng x. For example, the number of class ay per class is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is your x. So we're going to do is we need to identify what is the average cost per class. Magkano magiging average cost kapag ang class ay isa lang, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. So let us try. We need to substitute the value of our x to our function. So let us start. Sabi daw, f of x is equal to 500 plus 100 times x over x, where your x is 1. So, so it's equal to 500 plus 100 times 1 over 1. So the answer is 600. So meaning, the average cost if the value of x is 1. So 600. So how about if class is 2? So f of x is equal to 500 plus 100 times 2 divide by 2. So it will become 500 plus 100 times 2 is 200 divided by 2 will become to 700 divided by 2 is equal to 350. Another one, how about if the value of x is 3? So f of x is equal to so 500 plus 100 times 3 divided by 3. So the answer is 500 plus 100 times 3 is 300 divided by 3. So this is 800 divided by 3. The answer is 266.67. 266.67. How about if x is equal to 4? f of x is equal to 500 plus 100 times the value of x is 4, divide by 4. So it will become 500 plus 100 times 4 is 400, divide by 4. So magiging 900 over 4. So 900 divide by 4, 225. How about x is equal to 5? So f of x is equal to 500 plus 100 times 5 divide by 5. So it will become 500 plus 100 times 5 is 500 also divide by 5. So it will become 500 plus 500 is 1000 divide by 5. The answer is 200. So, after you construct the table of values, pag nakompleto nyo na lahat yan, so we can graph on our Cartesian coordinate plane to identify whether uh, the points of this function follow a curve or a line. Malalaman natin kung ang, ang average cost ba is straight line lang or curve. So, again, this is our... Uh, table of values, your x, if the x is 1, so 600, so kung 2, 350, kung 3 is 266.67, pag 4 naman is 225, pag 5, 200. So let us graph. Again, this is Cartesian coordinate plane. Sabi natin, this is your y, and this is your x. Yung y dyan is your f of x. Yung x mo dyan, si 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, let us graph. First is 1 and 600. So, 1 and 600. So, here. How about 2 and 350? Here. So, estimate na lang natin. Kasi pag ganyang nag-i-ano. Another one is 3 and 266.67. 
then 225, then 5 is 200. What have you observed? Kapag pinag-connect-connect natin to, what have you observed in the graph? The graph is a form of a curve. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi siya straight line. Another example, represent this rational function through table and graph. Identify whether the graph form is a trace, a straight line or a curve. So, sa example na to, hindi nyo na kailangan mag-identify ng equations kasi given na si function. Pag given na si functions, move kayo agad sa pagkoconstruct ng table of values. The given function is f of x is equal to x plus 3 over x plus so, let us construct the table of values. Again, our given function is f of x is equal to x plus 3 over x plus 1. So, we need to find the value of our f of x by using of the value of x. So, substitute lang natin to lahat ng x uli para makuha natin si f of x. First, if the value of negative 3. So, f of x is equal to negative 3 plus 3 over negative 3 plus 1 is equal to negative 3 plus 3 is 0 over negative 2. 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. How about if x is equal to negative 2? f of x is equal to negative 2 plus 3 over negative 2 plus 1 is equal to negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1 over negative 1. The answer is negative 1. How about if the value of x is negative 1? So, f of x is equal to negative 1 plus 3 over negative 1 plus 1. So, negative 1 plus 3 is 2 over 0. Anong mapapansin nyo sa denominator? Ang denominator is 0. Kapag ang denominator ay 0, it will be undefined. So, meaning negative 1 is undefined. How about if x is 0? f of x is equal to 0 plus 3 over 0 plus 1. So, 3 over 1 or 3. How about if x is equal to positive 1? f of x is equal to 1 plus 3 over 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 3 is 4 over 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, that is the value of our f of x with a given value of x. So, graph the following points in the Cartesian plane to determine if the points of this function follow a curve or a line. So, identify natin kung yung, yung nakuha ba nating mga points is makakaform ng a line or a curve. Again, this is our table of values. So, this is our Cartesian plane. So, sabi natin, di ba, sa negative 1, it is undefined. So, meaning, ito yung magmumukha nating limits. Kasi, pagating kay negative 1, hindi natin malaman kung ano yung pinaka-value. So, nilalagyan lang natin to ng limit. So, graph natin. So, negative 3, 0. Negative 2 and 1. 0 and 3. 1 and 2. So, kapag pinag-connect natin itong dalawa, mumukha siyang curve line. So, pwedeng mag-extend to, mag-extend yung value, pero hindi sila pwedeng lumagpas kay negative 1. Then also, the function form a curve. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Teacher Ren TV. Thank you.